U of M researchers say that farm incomes in the state hit a, excuse me, a historic low last year. Uh, dairy farmers are especially feeling the pinch after back to back to back years of low milk prices. Data shows 2018 may have been the worst year since the 1980s. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily shows us the length some dairy farmers are going to stay afloat. It's a 365 day job. Charles Krause's family has been farming in Wright County for 150 years. He calls the past few years challenging at best. We've been a period of three years, three consecutive years of below cost of production prices. And so um, one year's not bad. Two year, like, well, we made it through that one, and now here, here we had another one. U of M researchers found in 2018 the median dairy farm earned less than $15,000, down from $43,000 in 2017. Kraus says most dairy farmers have taken out operational loans to get by. Tariffs from China and Mexico hit the industry hard. Plus, he explains there's more supply than demand. I think some people are just saying enough is enough. 10% of Minnesota dairy farms shut down last year. The Minnesota Milk Producers Association says we're at risk of that happening again. So they're looking to the legislature for help. We're looking for 30 to $40 million one time. We have a farm bill program that if farmers sign up for, it should get them through the next five years. Minnesota Milk's executive director, Lucas Showstrom, says dairy farmers need a short-term solution to stay afloat. We're in a position to grow. We're in a position to supply markets. But if we can't get through the next 12 months, of course, individual farms aren't going to be able to retain that. So while consumers may see lower prices on store shelves for milk or cheese, a vital part of the state's economy is suffering. And that could have a ripple effect. And so when those cows go away, that economic impact that goes to the local feed store, the local veterinarian, the suppliers of products we use every day, the machinery dealer, that goes away too. Jennifer Mayerly, WCCO 4 News. Prices in the beef and pork industry are also down, according to researchers. Crop farmers saw a slight increase, but still saw historically low earnings.